When you gotta go, you gotta go. At least I only went once. Another dog? Yeah. We had a little view. Like had a little view this morning. It's clouded back in. We gotta make it over Bolton Mountain. This will be our last morning on the trail. She's hoping. <laughs> She's hoping. We're hoping we ate all our oatmeal now. Well, started this trail off immediately with a climb, a very steep climb. Lori's ahead of me because I had trouble getting my player running. But it's been a pretty steady, hard climb going up this. Rocks, boulders, not too much smooth sections inside here as you can see. It's all like hand to hand over climbing. To get up this thing. Jeez. Uh, oh, I finally caught up with Lori. I was a little stalled out back there because of the music player. You try to get to the top. You're really, you're really moving. Yeah. So this was Bolton Mountain, 3,725. It's our last mountain on the backpack. Yeah. Foggy, no views. It was like that last night. It was very cold last night, damp. It was like in a cloud all night. We stayed in the shelter with a local person with her dog. Um, so we got, we got to go down. Now it's a little humid though still. I think it's warmer today than yesterday, last night like cold like seeped in. I was cold in my bag but the other nights we were all roasting. Yeah. So we gotta hopefully get off these mountains today. So we gotta drop about uh, probably about 2,700 feet here. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Mossy, drippy, a lot of ferns, a lot of mossy big cliffs. Yeah. Mm. Pretty. Yeah. Well, there's a rock right there. I have to zoom in to actually get the rock because it's well, so the white. On, the rocks on Mansfield were even bigger. Yeah. When we went through the needle, that cliff was, well, it was just like that, I guess. Yeah. So hello. Hello, Sugar This is video. Oh, okay. Sugar Brook. Oh. They were almost there. They made it. Yeah, we got. We were behind by two weeks because I, uh, I ripped my fingernail off. Oh no. So I was like, no, don't want to have an injury. Yeah. Um. So today's day 16. Ah. How are you making out? Well, that's How good. are you? That's good. So the Guys, I know this is your first backpack, and yeah. actually, True. this is actually harder than the Appalachian Trail. That's what everybody yeah. keeps saying. It is. The northern part of this is harder than than hey hey. everything we've seen. <laughs> we um, yeah, I had to buy new shoes and Waterbury the other day. Hey, you wore one shoe out already? Oh, you mean before the trip or all in? Oh no, I. I was wearing the, the I was wearing the same shoes that we were hiking in when, yep. every time we saw you guys. Uh -huh. But then once we hit, um, what was it? Um, not Manchester. Camel's Hump. Camel's Hump. Oh, Camel's Hump. Yep. Abraham. Oh, Abraham. That was a tough one. Yeah. That whole section just yeah. chewed, so my soul was starting to yeah. come out. Oh yeah. And it was, you know. Yeah. I'm not. 
I'm not going to gamble with that. No. Uh, so. so we've been out for five, five nights? Five nights, five yeah. Five nights, really? yeah. We came from Route 2. Our truck is parked down here on Route 2. Somebody from the Green Mountain Club dropped us off on Route mm. 15 in Johnson um, for $70. So we've been five nights. Um, it's been hard. <laughs> we're, we're thinking about pushing it out. It's been hard. We're probably we got, gonna make it back out to the truck tonight. Yeah, we're hoping for it because we're on Route Two. But our original plan was for the shelter down here. But we're gonna try to go. We want to get out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry. We want to get out of here. It's been a, it's been a, it's been an adventure, but it's hard because we just jumped right into it. I mean, we've been out here before, but we just jumped right into white face up there. Yeah. So it started out the first day hot with these yeah. big cliffs. Yeah. And it was so scary that I felt like I couldn't enjoy it. Like I was always afraid I was going to hurt myself. <laughs> that, you know, you had to mm. watch everything. Mm. And, uh, but Mansfield was nice. Yeah. So this is a nice area because all you can see is Christmas trees yeah. everywhere. Spruces everywhere. Mm. But there's no view. Everything's no view. whited out. It's all fogged it up Ever since here. the rain. Mm. Night before last, there's been no views anymore. Everything no. So we saw the couple from Sugarbrook, which was funny to see. Mm. They up here, they're doing fine, covering a lot of mileage. But they're a young couple. Mm. They're doing it, living their dream, living doing their dream. the long trail. Yeah. <laughs> Prepping for the Appalachian Trail. Well, after this, there'll be more than preparation for the Appalachian Trail. Oh, what's that? One blueberry. One blueberry. One, one small. Awesome. <laughs> this area is really the green mountains. Yeah. Green, green, green. Yeah. Green moss everywhere. Yeah. Whole thing is green. Yeah. And we haven't seen. Saw some moose turd. Haven't seen any animals. I don't think we've. We haven't even seen a squirrel. Yeah. Chipmunk. Nothing. Haven't heard really anything. It's been pretty silent. Yeah. I'm like the 100 mile wilderness, I think that was silent too, like this. Well, we reached the shelter. It's point three of a pile in, but we don't need to go to the shelter and it's three point miles, so it's like downhill. So we're gonna continue on. I'm so trying I'm trying to get out of here. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So this used to be the old LT. That's what Lori says. On the LT here. Oh yeah, they still got they still got the relocation up here, but it's been relocated for a long time. See that used to go down to Duckbrook Shelter, which oh. is still there I guess, and then it hit over here. Now the parking is here. So now they made it like over here. Hmm. Or somewhere over here. Okay. Somewhere over there. Oh. <laughs> It moved it over a little bit, but that one is still there. Hmm. Five mile mark here. So we're on the last five miles. We might be on the last four and a half. We know that this taco is at the truck. So we're trying to move here. Luckily, the trail now has turned into more of a trail. Dave says we made six miles. So we have four more to go. Four more to go. So now the sky has cleared. The view from that shelter probably would have been great, but this view is good too. We're above Route 2 and we're looking south towards somewhere over there would be Camel's Hump. But Camel's Hump is a bald top, so I don't I don't see it. it must be beyond that other mountain over there. It's only trail magic we've seen. Oh, seltzer water. Lime flavored. Mm -hmm. You can have it. Seltzer water. Lime flavored. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. So we're not to the truck yet, but there's a big cliff here. Kind of like the cliffs of Mount Mansfield. <laughs> But they had a sign, climbers thing, so I guess this one they they either climb or they repel. Probably mostly on the weekend. Pretty amazing. 
kind of crazy how these cliffs just spring out of nowhere. Very warm down here. We're descending around ten and a half miles. <laughs> now I'm like, are we really gonna make it? I'm like, my feet are killing me. Uh, we had a seltzer water trail magic back there. My stomach is kind of like been shaked up and it's getting warm. I'm getting exhausted. Cliffs are amazing though, and we're happy to make it out. Well, I reached the road, came up a ladder over there. Can't see it. Uh, There's no parking over ladder over there. There's no parking here. So we're go under 89. Yeah, under 89. So that's a road walk down to the truck. There's Campbell's Peak. Can't see it on a camera, probably. Yeah, that's probably Campbell's hump. There's two humps. Campbell has two humps, right? Yeah. yeah. Go over that hump over there. Yeah. Too, and that's, then go up. up so that's Campbell. And then go up. It's Camel's hump. The next piece. We're not doing that this year. Actually, that might be Camel's hump over there, even higher than those other two humps. Mm. We're not sure what what is Camel's hump, but that's probably. Well, that could be Burnt Rock, though, because Burnt Rock is up there, too. Not sure what we're looking at. Tree tunnel. Yeah, so they put a little walkway here beside Route 2, which Route 2 is um, under construction, so its pavement is dug up. But they give you a little tunnel here, and... It's like they mow it. So, it's been about 11 miles. They've been really hard miles. 11? 600 feet. We dropped out to 600 feet. Oh, we're 600 feet, feet here. We did 11.2. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it. Wow. There it is! Oh my god! <laughs> and we got a thing here for the... Trail. Right there. Huh. The long trail, the footpath in the wilderness that extends the whole length of the state. 261 mile hikers built by the Green Mountain Club during 1910 extends the mountain summits from the Mass State Line to the Canadian border. Convenient shelters are located. Somebody left water here. They said they left water and juice. An empty water bottle. Books on books here? Dar. They put books in here for like taking oh. missing dog. That almost looks like that woman's dog. It does look like that woman's dog. <laughs> Yeah, I do remember where the key is. And now the question is, do we want to stay here or do we want to go somewhere else? I don't know. Hi there. Hi there. Where are you? We're in the camper, but we're in the camper. It's seven, almost 7:30 at night. Yeah, we stink. We haven't eaten. Where are we? We drove all the way back to Appalachian Gap. We're in the uh, smaller two. parking lot here. We finished our backpack. Mm. Now we're gonna eat. We're gonna wash up and then we're gonna look, look eat. At this. Oh, yeah. oh my God. We're going to be having tacos. Tacos. I gotta find the, the tacos. I think I forgot the tacos in the truck. No. 